Turns out Mayor Bill de Blasio hasn't always been opposed to carriage horses, at least according to the New York Daily News. It reports that de Blasio didn't mind the longtime New York tradition until he got thousands of dollars from anti-carriage supporters. There is, of course, a strong push to keep the carriages in place. The mayor's faced stiff opposition from actor Liam Neeson, among others, who wrote an op-ed piece in The Times about why he believes the horse-drawn carriages should stay put. New poll also shows that most New Yorkers want the carriages to stay. Daily News is doing a petition. They've got more than 12,000 signatures to help try and save the horses. Mayor Bill de Blasio says the carriage horses are inhumane and animal rights activists backing his argument. Today, debate fell on their side to a certain degree after a carriage horse fell on its side near the Plaza Hotel yesterday, pinned underneath the carriage and was forced to keep working even though it had a limp. Animal rights activists immediately organized a protest at the scene of the accident. This falls into one of those categories. It is not among the city's most pressing issues in terms of needs or, or whatever. But boy, is it dividing the city. Is this something that needs to be rethought? The mayor wants to replace him with old electric I don't know cars. why he's spending political capital on stuff like this. Um, that's not to say it isn't an important issue. Um, uh, uh, it was important. It's an issue worth paying attention to. It is. But geez, he's been governor, for, uh, I'm sorry, mayor for three months. Surely there are other things to D that he can deal with that would matter more in the lives of everybody. But Richard, it's like the charter school debate. He thought that he would just push through what he wanted and no one would I, notice. I don't think he felt that at all. I think he's been very careful to do what he said he'd do on charter schools, That's on a fair taxes, point. and he promised this, and a lot of people want him to keep that promise. I, I mean, I personally don't agree with him. I, and, and, and the, the, I don't either. The reason has you know, the, the little to do with the, the issue of cruelty or lack of cruelty. If these horses are not working these carts, they'll be dead. They'll be dog food. They, they, this is not, not as though they're going to, the alternative is work this uh, beat or frolic in the grass in, 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 in Orange County until you grow old and die peacefully under a tree. The, 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 these are commodities, for better or worse, and the people who want to see the, the, the horse-drawn carriages no longer pulling, the horses will not survive. Well, he, here's what I don't understand. It's a New York tradition, mm -hmm. the horses. Mm -hmm. How do you wipe out? Horses have been around. Dominic, spitting on the sidewalk is a New York tradition. Well, but you got a point there. Here's, but, the, here's, but, the, here's the counter. It, you see these horses, and they're on the city streets. A, okay. clogs up traffic, and okay. B, they're standing right behind a bus that's spitting exhaust okay. at it every now, single now day. Now, I do understand the other side, right. and they get nervous around all the traffic, and New York City traffic is enough to, you know, drive one insane. So can't we figure out a solution to this, a compromise, where perhaps they would stay inside Central Park? There has to be a compromise. What about the jobs There's no that compromise if you think the issue is one of uh, unnecessary cruelty. The fact where the cruelty takes place, Dominic, is not uh, uh, relevant to a lot of folks. Okay, well, let's be honest. They don't do the best job taking care of these animals. They, 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 I think that used to be true. I think there's reason to believe that the care of the animals now is at a more than acceptable level, th which is a minimum. The, the fundamental question is, should these animals be working these uh, gigs or, or not? I, you know, I Th this issue is not going away anytime soon. At least it doesn't look like it is. There's going to be a lot of eyes on the industry itself to see how the horses are taken care of. Uh, we're going to get into it to a certain degree. Bet so your life on it. They're so going to stay. So You'll stay, see. So stay tuned for more of that. Another quality of life issue in the city. Mayor de Blasio wants to do away with some of that smoke you have to walk through when you pass a food truck in the city. He's backing proposed anti-pollution laws that would require food, food trucks to switch from diesel fuel to battery power. That law that he's proposing, by the way, would also ban new wood-burning fireplaces. De Blasio wants only cleaner-burning units like the ones that use natural gas. I, I get the food truck thing. I don't. I get the food <laughs> truck. Well, because they've got to sit there and idle, and, and that can be... You're going to go around and ban fireplaces, no. wood-burning fireplaces? He's going to ban construction of new ones. Right. That is uh, the, the, the camel's nose under the tent, to, to some degree. Um, uh, you know, we, this, there's a theme emerging in this show, uh -oh. which is enough already. Um, uh, <laughs> but they, they, look, it, you could say that about the carriage horse debate. You could say that about the food truck. These are the things that people deal with every single day. They interact with them every single day, and it matters to people. There's a reason why these issues are issues. Okay, but I hate to say this. Oh, boy. 
I, I hate to admit this, but I, I agree with Brodsky again with something That's he said. Colonel Brodsky. He said, Colonel Brodsky? <laughs> yeah. I agree with what Colonel Brodsky said earlier in terms of he's right about this. Mr. Mayor, you've only been in office a few months. Let's focus on some other issues and leave these things alone that's going to do nothing but get you into political trouble. The, the, these are, are no-win situations for him. If he goes forward with the food ban on the trucks, that lobby is going to organize against him. It's the same thing all over again. I just think he needs to refocus his energies on some other, maybe go on the view some more. Do something else, but leave these things alone, Mr. Mayor. You're not Bloomberg. What is you it, don't what, have the deep it, pockets that Bloomberg had. Over? What does he have to do to win you over? What, I've known Bill de Blasio for 20 years. Right. Bill de Blasio told me he was going to be mayor when I thought he was crazy. Right. He, he pulled me aside maybe 10 years ago, and I said, and I, this, I, I said, Bill, why in, why in the hell are you running for city council? And his exact answer was, this is when he started, he says, I'm going to be mayor one day, and I, I want to start from the bottom. And he was Hillary Clinton's campaign manager. Mm -hmm. Are you insinuating that I don't like our mayor? No, 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 no. I just think you're, you, you're very, very critical of me. I'm very well, critical Dominic of any mayor that's falling the, down on the job. The barbershops in Brooklyn, he knows. I've he's been got to the barbershops finger in Brooklyn. on the pulse of the community. I've been to the barbershops in Manhattan. Uh, I've been to the barbershops in the Westchester. The barbershop vote has come in. I'm just saying. It mayor, just doesn't reflect what my hair do here. Take this man to lunch. No, but I take mean. Take this man to lunch. But I mean, the, the, the mayor, you know, yeah. he needs a communications director no. to say, to he, say, no, Mr. Mayor, he needs, let's focus on he, this. He needs to do that himself. No, don't blame staff. He's got to focus on the bigger issues. He had a big victory on uh, uh, pre-K. And he's he blew gonna have that. A good no, he didn't. He blew he's that. He's going to have a good September. You know he blew that. He's got to get himself through to the opening of those pre-K All right. Head to Facebook, head to Twitter, sound off on today's question. Should horse carriages be banned from New York City streets? I suspect we're going to get a little bit of response on that one. Up next, the big story of the day. Yankees pitcher Michael Pineda is a big cheater, and we'll make a little fun of him in our next segment. But his penalty is really just a slap on the wrist because this is Major League Baseball. So why does the national pastime tolerate cheating? That's next on RFL.